Oh boy, where do we even begin with this, guys? So this past weekend was opening day of rifle season, and I actually got to hunt with uh, Chris's father and Chris himself. Uh, we hunted a few different locations on the property, and me and Chris's father were actually in the blind, and we hunted all morning up until about 10 o'clock, and then um, Chris's father was actually about to shoot a deer off to our right that was in a, a little kill pot that we have there, and there was actually a spike buck there, and right to the right of that spike buck was a big doe. Um, on this property, we don't, you know, we don't shoot spikes and, and little four-pointers and things like that, so he was going to shoot the mature doe that was actually off to the right, just slightly over to, uh, in front of a pine tree, and the deer was actually stepping, you know, into the opening where he could get a clear shot. Well, all of a sudden, the spike looked up, down, up toward the front of the property, and he just locked up. So we assumed that there was another deer coming. So we didn't we didn't move. We kind of we we just waited to see what was going on. And sure enough, I look out my right window of the blind. Here comes another trespasser through the property. I about knocked Chris's father over getting out of the out of the blind. I did like a front flip out of the blind. Grabbed the camera because I wanted to get this recorded because this is just super frustrating uh, when you have private property. It's just uh, it's just disrespect all the way through 100%. And if you don't have private property, you may not understand it. And I, I, I don't have really an answer to explain to you for that. But for people that have private property, it's no different than your house. If you have your if you have a house and you have a backyard, it's the same thing as if you don't want somebody, a strange person walking through your backyard. It just doesn't it's not legal, right? So if it's not your property, stay off of it. Especially opening day of rifle season. Me personally, I would be petrified to walk one foot off of my property, and I don't do it. I, I don't step foot off my property. I have respect. But anyway, let's play the clip. As you guys can see, the guy is clearly lying through his teeth. Uh, it's an older gentleman, so I gave him the benefit of the doubt. I gave him a warning. Um, I did forward this footage to the local... Uh, game commission i have actually his cell phone number i have him on speed dial because there's a lot of issues around here and uh you know we were going to take chris's uh, son here um it's just uh super frustrating to have to deal with this type of thing it happens all over i'm not the only one that deals with it it just happens all over people have no respect let's play the clip What are you doing here? No. No? No, this is private property. Oh. Got down in how far? It goes another 300 yards. It's all my property. 300 yards. I'm just letting you know right now you're being recorded. Okay, okay. It's private property. I've had a lot of trespassers on here stealing stuff. And I'm sick of it. Where'd you come, where'd you come in at? Where did you come in at? Well, I, I didn't know exactly where the property line was. It's from the road all the way 200 yards that way, all the way around. I, I knew, I knew all this. I knew all this was posted over here. I, I did know that. But this, but this is not your property. No. So you trust? So you're in here trespassing? I got my father in the stand. Uh -huh. I got another guy over here. Over here. Yep. Okay. So, what's your name? Okay. Yeah, I've hunted this for sixty some years. But it's not your property. No. Uh -uh. So you well, try. I, I know now about where you're at. Yeah. So I won't be. I won't ever be up this far again. All right. Well. I I thought you had posters down through here. No. I knew I knew they were along the road up there, and I stayed down away from them. Okay. Well. It's all. It's all. It's all posted all the way around and you still you still came in here so well, I, didn't, I didn't see no posters here it's around the whole perimeter the whole perimeter is posted 
and you're trespassing. So I'm about two seconds away from calling the DNR. I, I'm sorry, I did not see a poster. But it's not your property. So you still trespass even though it's not your, even though it's not your property. Okay. All right. I would walk out the same way you came in. Yeah. Oh, right down through there and back. Okay. Back out. All right. Please don't let me catch you back here because. Okay. Okay. I know, I know where, about where you're at now. So. If soon as you, soon as you walk that way, you'll start seeing, you'll see the signs. That, that go, I don't have an answer for that. Okay. That, that, that go all the way around. All right. Okay. <sighs> Unbelievable. Always always something to deal with. Unbelievable. <sighs> so as you guys can see through or in the video, the guy is clearly lying. I bleeped out his name, obviously, and some unforeseen words that I said, but uh, the guy's lying. He's been in there before. He obviously said he's been in hunting there for 60 years or whatever, whatever. I don't know where he came from. He said his last, I assume that's his last name. I looked it up on my uh, maps um, on HuntStand app, and it looks like if he's, if this is correct, he's about three properties away coming this way. And according to the app, he owns like 120 acres. So I'm thinking in my mind, well, if he owns, owns 120 acres, uh, why is he coming over here to hunt 98 acres? So I have no idea. Um, after it was dealt with, I uh, sent an email to the, to the uh, officer uh, he knows who I am I've talked to him many times at the property we talk for hours one day just about food plots and hunting and, and things like that it's a really cool uh, cool person but uh, I just got done sending this to him and um, I don't know we'll see what happens uh, and and see where we go from here if you guys have ever dealt with this uh, drop a comment down below let me know what what do you guys do about this did I overreact? Did I not, did I not act uh, um, enough? By the time I got over to the sad daddy and sat down with Chris's father again, we talked about it, and I get a text on the phone from Chris and said, I hear talking. I replied back to him. I said, you didn't hear talking or yelling, which I didn't really yell, but it was just funny. But uh, weird situation, crazy, have to deal with this. But good luck to all the guys out there uh, rifle hunting. I wish you, the guy, wish you guys the best, and I'll see you guys next time.